Previously on Hard Knocks. The Dallas Cowboys select Felix Jones, running back, Arkansas. I like him on the red eye. I mean, we need him here. Big bro, what's going on, baby? I'm good, man. What y'all got going on today? He's a little bit immature. You got to put your foot on his throat. I'll take the Gandhi approach. Make it important. Tuck it away right now. There it is. Too what? Too sexy. It's hard right now. I'm number 80 on the roster. Don't start doing it your way now, because I'm telling you, you won't be around long enough to keep doing it your way. I could be doing anything in the world, and I want to be here with you. I want to be here with the Cowboys. For the 2008 Cowboys, the sky's the limit. Of course, sometimes that makes it feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. <laughs> For Jerry Jones' grandchildren, training camp is a pretty good gig. Looking for you. You out there hanging out? Thanks, bud. Watch that little kid stealing helmet. Oh no, that's. Yeah, he can steal whatever he yeah, wants. Yeah, that's right. He owns it all anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it may look like fun and games, but at camp, ultimately, everyone Touch has it. to pay a price. Touch it. I will. <laughs> a football team is like a tree. Branches may grow in all directions, but the roots. The roots are bound together. You're there playing with your teammates and your buddies and your coaches. You have each other's back. I was accepted into a family that had something special going on. When you're at your worst and when you're at your best, the family should always have your back. And that's what we do. We have each other's back regardless. One, two, three. The Cowboys know no matter how many branches they have or where they spread, they all lead back home. We're a family. This is a football family. And part of a family is trusting. In his second season as the Cowboys head coach, Wade Phillips has earned more than just the trust of his players, but their appreciation as well. How are you doing today, coach? You know I'm doing well, Roy. It's so good to just stand next to you. I just put, it's, a, it's the aura about you that I just, yeah. it's, it's seeking, it's seeking into my pores right now, coach. You know? How do you handle players? You don't handle them. You work with him. You know, not only myself, I think a lot of a lot of players have raved about uh, his coaching style. Everybody plays relaxed. Everybody plays loose. That's a good route, because you're going to get a lot of double coverage, you know. <laughs> well, you are. You know that. You have to treat people like men, and I think that's the bottom line. Come on, DeMarcus. Smile, man. <laughs> there you go. Football has long been the Phillips family business. The Oilers had come up with a brand new head coach that nobody ever heard of. A good old boy named O.A. Bum Phillips. Wade learned the game at his father's knee. And the importance of keeping camp in perspective. Watch out, you get dog bit. But everybody used to think that we just, you know, we didn't run wind sprints, so we were too easy on them. We weren't too easy on them. I love my mama, and I knew she loved me, but she whooped me when she needed to. And that's the way I felt about players. Are we going to meet on the team? Are we going to watch team? Yeah, we're going to look at the film. Why? What do you got to do? My wife, my wife. Go do that. Go do that. My kids are in Utah, and I was going to fly home for a day, but if not. No, you're going to do what you want to do, and then come back. You can look at it. You'll get it and look at it on your own. I'm going to do everything I can, OK? You know that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, I feel great. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Only way to be out here. There you go, Captain. Hey. I love you, man. I love you, Coach. I love you, man. I mean, I really love you, though, Coach. Now, you're, you're a hell of a coach, man. You know, with one year, he comes in, he wins 13 games. We compete. We try to get better. 
everywhere he's been, he's made an impact. And that, that's not by coincidence. That's not by happenstance. That's because he's a good football coach. Nine days into camp and the Cowboys are still a week away from their first preseason game in San Diego. Days are long, tempers short. Suddenly, brothers in arms have a sibling rivalry. Receivers in white, defensive backs in blue. Let me see what DB we gonna go after today. I think any competition brings out the best in, in everybody. Come on, let me get some of this. Oh, it's the only time you can cover me when we're going half speed. Hey, as soon as the referees come out there, no fact. You know, you have guys that like to play pickup games, but when they get up under those whistles, they game change. That's a bunch of y'all in here. That's a bunch of y'all in here. He got beat so bad off the line. He just happened to be underneath the wrap. Why is he throwing that so short? Sun shines on the dog's ass every once in a while, bro. Look at this lame stuff right here. Everybody One, two, three, TV. Tonight, you know, the information we give. Let me just say, first of all, you can look at what happened last season and that bad taste, that bad feeling, what happened at the end of that. Use that as motivation. You should make short goals to get to your big goal. Everybody's got to watch each other and pull each other's back because the ultimate goal is the Super Bowl. It's all about winning. So if you believe in each other, you trust each other, and buy into the system, and the goals of everybody, it's going to happen right here. I'm looking at the Super Bowl champion, right? But we got to prepare right now. Hey, we got some magic now that we need. All right, magic on three. One, two, three. Magic. Though it's an hour north of Hollywood, Oxnard suddenly has more than its share of stars. Say, so Jamie Foxx is over there? Could Willie Beamer play for the Cowboys? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right. Hey, he got the cadence down. <laughs> Turns out even stars can be starstruck. Wow, these guys are pushing unbelievable. Yeah. How's Felix? How's the Jets? Does he look fast? <laughs> yeah. First round draft pick Felix Jones is no joke. He's a rookie with immense talent. It isn't like we got him in the third round, but I think we stole one in Felix Jones. At 28 now. I think he's one of the most talented players we've had. Everything we've asked him to do, he seems to pick up mentally, and he's able to kind of quickly put it into practice on the field, and that's, that's a really good attribute for any player. Come on now, explode out of that stance. Explode, explode, explode. Getting a chance to play for the Cowboys has been a lifelong dream for me. I go hard every play like it's my last because you never know when and when it's going to be your last play. So I try to take advantage of every opportunity I get. Felix Jones will make the team. His roommate, Keon Lattimore, isn't guaranteed anything. But after a dismal start to camp, the undrafted free agent is beginning to turn heads. I'm not so sure that 35 isn't. Lattimore's got a chance too, I think. He's got some size, but I have sure been impressed with just his, just some of his natural running about. Even Lattimore may have a move. Watch this. Wow. That's a hell of a cut. Wow. This guy can run, I'm telling you. 
Look at this. There's Lattimore now. Count him out here. Look at that. He can run now. Watch out for Ray Lewis, brother. I don't know his name, but I know he's Ray Lewis, brother. He got good genes. Oh, wow. It seems Keon is finally playing up to the family's pedigree. And no one knows Keon's potential better than the big brother who's been watching him play since high school. I tell you about my little brother. You can't stop that, man. <laughs> That's destiny out there. He's going to kick it away from Keon. He got it, though. He got it. Let's go. Dance with it. The physical part is there. I think we just got to get the mental aspect down. You got to really focus in and just do the fine tuning mentally. I just want to show everybody that I'm a tough running back, that I can play at this level, that I belong at this level. I just want to deliver a message that this guy, he runs hard, he can do it all. I'm a football player, so I want to show, I want to show the world that. The Cowboys always draw a crowd. But for one man, there's extra scrutiny. Tank Johnson has had run-ins with the law and even been suspended by the NFL commissioner. But number 66 is trying to make the most of his second chance. I have opportunity to be a part of America's team. I'm kind of embracing this and squeezing this moment and trying not to let it slip away. Tank has done a great job. He's a leader, not just in words, but he's also a leader in what he does. He goes through the drills full speed. Love your energy. I love your energy that you bring every day. Awesome. I love it. You know why? You know why I love it? Because you love football. All right? You love football, and it's important to you, and you, you show it out here. All right? And that, that is... It, that is, that is infectious, okay? That is infectious. It, it, it goes through the whole team, yeah. all right? So keep it up. John Garrett not only appreciates enthusiasm, but talent. And he's still trying to get the best out of second round pick, Martellus Bennett. Go Martellus, crank it up today. Don't just get through, all right? Don't get, just get through. Before practice, after practice, sit down with the coaches. What did it, what'd you, hey coach, what did you see? What I need to work on. Because you got the other ability. So you know if you retrain your mind, all that ability just don't come together like that. Yep. There is no excuse. No, no. He's a gifted guy. And mm -hmm. The only thing that you might be missing is some will or motor or something yeah. like that. And that, and that's, can, that can. shouldn't miss. Let's go. Hustle through, hustle through, hustle through. Oh, gosh, one of those days now. Get to the line, get urgent, get down on your stance and get in a proper stance. You gotta do what we tell you to do, all right? You gotta get on board. I mean, it's only because he wants to see me succeed, but every day he's on me. I tell us, helmet on, helmet on. Put your helmet on. I feel like a mule, a donkey back in the day when they didn't have tractors plowing the field. Physically, you know, after a while you get, physical part gets passive, but mentally I'll just be gone sometimes. High and tight for the rest of this, okay? All right? At the end of every play, switch it to the other hand. High and tight across your chest. That, okay? Come on, up here. Up here, listen to the play. Got to keep making the mental part of it important. Constant pursuit of getting it right, all right? We never give in, we never let up. Okay? Let's have a good one today. There are fans, there are diehard fans, and then there's Mrs. Price. Yes, go, let's go, let's go! Oh, Mrs. Price? Everybody knows Mrs. Price. Come on, go! Come here, baby! Give mama a hug! Woo! Oh. Doing all right? She gave me the nastiest wet kiss ever on my cheeks. Oh. I mean, it was a grandma kiss completely. She was like, hey, baby! You. She stands out. If I had to walk, I was coming. She's like a number walk. one fan. She probably got 30 jerseys on right Hands now. down. Day Campo! Miss Price, how are you? What's going on, baby? How you doing? Come give me my lucky hug today. Yes, ma'am. I'm right, coming right there. Don't rush Campo. Do you understand me, young man? She has the very distinctive voice. Johnny Ramo! She has the ability to yell over everybody. Jason Whitney! And her voice never gets sore. Jerry! She's like that 
hours a day. I'll be here all day! Hey, if I get him on the phone, I want you to yell, Troy okay. Aikman. There's Roseanne. Troy! Troy! Come on out here and talk to Tony Romo for me! Troy! <laughs> it's my alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl? Pearl? Time to get up. You get your popcorn ready. Uh, Miss Price on three. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Miss Price. Man, we got it going on. Won't they just forfeit the whole season and give us a trophy? Oh, my goodness. At training camp, lifting weight is a lot easier than not gaining it. The prospect of a couple of extra pounds can weigh heavily on a player's mind. I was 218 two weeks ago. They told me I got to be 208. <laughs> I haven't been eating. To make sure I made weight, I had two juices and a bag of chips, and I sip the second juice. You know, I just gotta eat truly healthy, everyday fight. You gotta fight temptations of stuff you're used to. I just want some ribs and baked beans. Peach cobbler, bacon, banana pudding, chitlins, ice cream, sweet potato pie, donuts, Dunkin' Donuts. Where's Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, man, I miss it. <laughs> Between a lean and mean, believe it. Making weight may be hard, but tipping the scales in your favor is even harder. Especially for an undrafted free agent like number 18 receiver Danny Amendola. All the long shot wants is a chance. That's a catch. That's a catch. All I was looking for is an opportunity. I just wanted a shot. I had hopes to get drafted, of course, maybe late in the sixth or seventh round, but. You know, that didn't happen, and I was given the gift to come play with the Cowboys and have the opportunity to be on this team. Yeah, that's a way to run off the ball, Danny. A few of those guys, you start to get excited about seeing them play in games, you know? Yeah. I want to see Danny Amendola play in a game. Yeah. It's going to be tough for him to do it, but he's definitely a guy that's competing in a fifth receiver spot. He doesn't have the size, speed, but he does offer other things and other qualities as a receiver. Boy, he... He runs those routes full speed, and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to gauge him. I'm in the receivers that we're going to keep. Six, I think. For deep enough, you know? and he's going to be one of them. Yeah. Talk about Italian style. Ah, good work, baby. The guy has a lot of ability. If he doesn't make our team, I'm... My money's down. He'll make somebody else's squad. Kind of like the underdog out there, kind of like the Rudy guy, you know. I get a couple cheers, and it feels good. Watch 18 here. He's a natural on catching punts, isn't he? Like Wes Welker, Amendola is a skilled punt returner. But to win that job, he'll have to beat out Patrick Creighton, Adam Jones, and a surprisingly spry old man, linebacker Zach Thomas. Well, you coming over here in endangered territory, Zach. Get it on the run. Come on, Zach. Ooh, you tell me it's natural back there. And then just the, the drop it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, you trying to show your, you trying, you trying to show your age. He don't get that. Oh, ooh, look at it. Five, five. That shit hurt him right. He'll pull every ass muscle he got. Parcel sat me down and told me, "Hey, I'm gonna have to let you go because you're gonna be 35." You know, but at least he was honest with me, and I respect that. But I'm trying to prove him wrong. Zach Thomas, very solid, uh, really good pro. Studies the game. Got to kick him out of the damn meeting room. I think he's a major asset as far as tying things in together defensively. I have a lot of motivation this year coming in trying to prove myself again, just like I'm a rookie. He is flying around out there. But that was a huge upgrade for us. Yes, sir. Man, he's, he's going for, the, for that football right as they're throwing it, and other people are... You know, right. the guy throws the ball and then then they go, you know. Yeah. Where Zach, he's well, so instinctive. This is a new defense. He yeah. still knows. Yeah. Because it's a new camp, it's a new team. And I feel really refreshed. Three! I'm not stuck! 
once you're comfortable out there and you're running around like you on the playground back in third grade, that's when it's fun. The recipient of Thomas's big hit is Ray Lewis's little brother. He didn't even look at me, so I just had to hit him. He's a rookie, so I uh, had to give him a welcome to the NFL. He didn't even see him. Didn't, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey, he come back with that. He give it all to him. Could have killed him. It was a love tap. <laughs> no, uh, me and Zach, we joke around all the time, you know. I told him that Ray done hit me harder than that many a times. Hey, he got his fire back a little bit after that one hit. <laughs> Hey, that's football, though. It's all good. Some teams preach family. The Cowboys practice it, especially on offense. The Cowboys and my family, you know, we're all doing this together. You know, obviously my two brothers are here working with me. Stick me. My brother John is coaching the tight end. Get me to climb downhill. Head around faster. And my brother Judd is in the pro personnel department. All three Garrett brothers played football at Princeton, which explains their smarts. But their love of the game comes from their father, Jim, a longtime coach and scout. Now we know that the key to Success in National Football League is defensive consistency, and that was what... I've been around a lot of great people. Guy, uh, he thinks he's going to sit back there all day without any, pu without any push. It's going to be murder, I'm telling you. But I don't think they follow in my footsteps as much as the infectious way football grabs you. And you enjoy playing, you enjoy the camaraderie. So the next natural step when you get a little older is to be a coach. That's the way to come back to the ball. Following Jim Garrett's road to success won't be easy. Few men have logged as many miles. Everybody kind of knows this who knows him, but he has a streak of 28 straight years of running. Runs every day. July 6th, 1980, he started. Tell your dad, I said, how's he doing? He's doing great. He's still running? Every day, 21 straight years, coach. You know, it's funny what, what he says. I said, Dad, you ever feel like you didn't want to run? He says, every day when I get up out of bed and the two feet go on the floor, that's what I feel. But you know what I say? My body says, I'm not going out. I'm done, and the mind says, shut up and get going. He's still going strong today, 78 years old. I'm down from two and a half to a mile and a half because my knees are bad, so I go a little slower. But I have enjoyed it. But to me, more than anything else, it just tells you what he's all about. He's up early, he's out on the road doing his work, and for me, as someone growing up and seeing that example, that being symbolic of so many other things he did the same way, it's a pretty special example for a young guy to have. Let's see T.O. Max this stride, huh? Nobody moves like Terrell owns, and true to form, T.O. travels to practice in style. I think he actually drove like 20 parking spaces once. And I'm like, Terrell, the building, your building's only like five, five doors away. <laughs> That's how I say my leg, Tom boy. That's lazy. <laughs> That's just Terrell being Terrell, you know. Your feet tired? <laughs> but uh, I caught myself jumping in the car with him the other day. <laughs> so I guess I can't call him too lazy. Yeah. You can call me what you want. I'd be lazy. <laughs> Yep. Most veterans loathe the daily grind, but not Owens. Entering his 13th season, the old pro still gets a kick out of camp. Oh, oh look at the heat. Fire! Booyah! Hey, this is like a science project. Okay, he's on the middle of the line, so I'm moving like two and three quarter degrees that way. Look at that. He ain't even had to move. what I tell you? It is hot out here. Oh, yeah. Hey, every player should have one of these. This is how you beat the heat. Or you can hit the beach. But if you bring a film crew along, you might need more than sunscreen to protect yourself from your teammates. 
Yeah, this is TR running on the beach yesterday. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought the rock was. Oh, how he thought the rock? I thought the rock. With the rock. He said, he said, that's the cold one. Hello. Hello. Flex on the back. Hello. Hello. You threw that thing, he said. Hello. 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 One of the sexiest coaches out here. Look at look at Coach Wade Phillips. Look at him. I don't know why his pants rise so high up his butt, but he's a, he's a sexy coach, man. Look at him. Sexiest coach in the NFL, Coach Wade Phillips. Besides having rugged good looks, Wade Phillips also happens to know football, and he's making sure his son Wes learns the game from the ground up. I just kind of assist any way I can, whether it's shag balls, catch balls, throw passes to some guys. A lot of what it is, uh, especially with the rookies, is assignment stuff. Okay, weak left's not that short. Let's get right, let's get left 376. It's nice to see Wesley coaching. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he really likes it. Yeah, I know. It's not all football in the Phillips household. Wade's daughter, Tracy, is an up-and-comer herself. Who is this beautiful This is lady our here. daughter. Hi. How are you? Pleasure to meet you, nice finally. Nice to meet you, Heard a lot too. of good things about you. Thank you. Heard you a heck of a dancer. Tracy's a dancer, choreographer, actress. You don't have to be a dancer or a choreographer to appreciate the rhythm of a well-run camp. Back up, guys. Three, three lines. Make sure you're paying attention to your footwork. Hit. Go. There it is right there. That's good. That's good. Hit. Hit. Work on those fundamentals now. On the footwork and focus is going. Stab, now stab. That's it. It's no secret Adam Jones has made some missteps in his career. But so far in camp, he's been towing the line. How's uh, Adam look? Good? Good. Yeah, yeah. is he a stud? He's going to be good. He's going to be good. Yeah. He's, you know, everybody forgets that he's a young guy. You know, he's only been in the league. This is his, really with a year off, this is his third year. We're just bringing him along like you would bring along a good, a good rookie, a rookie that you have high expectations for. If you're going to press, press. Don't get in that in-between, press. Yeah. Pac-Man, he uh, has a tendency every once in a while to go to his own yeah. stuff. Sure. Uh, he lost all his footwork in a two-minute drill, yet he made two or three plays because he's, he's just a football player. If you don't shuffle and give yourself a little bit of momentum, when he gets to you, you know, it looks like you just stood there and then waited for him. Okay. It's hard to break habits sometimes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Now listen to me. Listen to me. That's something that we're working uh, hard to, you know, change. Pack. All right. Come on now. All right, coach. Come on now. Stick with me, baby. Come on. It's just three days before the Cowboys' first preseason game in San Diego. And the defensive backs are struggling. Get on top! No! We cannot back off like that. They're making the move. Are you giving them two ways to go? Make them go one way or the other. Let's be honest here now. That was not our best practice. Didn't feel right. It's not that we did that badly. It's just it didn't feel good. Well, let's make sure that we come out tomorrow and we're ready to roll. Let's go. Get it on in here. Here we go. Slide and snap. Here we go. DBs. One, two, three. DBs. There you go. Nice. All right. For two long weeks, neither the scenery nor the routine has changed. Days run together, hours and practices and meetings run together, and you kind of really don't know what day it is. It's not losing track of days. It kind of feels like Groundhog Day to me. Like Groundhog Day. It gets repetitive. <laughs> Then you just get into a mode where uh, I'm just going to go through the motion again. One, two, three, DB. DB. One, two, three, DB. DB. One, two, three, DB. DB. I eat the same meal every day. I'm eating grilled chicken all day, and I'm very sick of it by now. I think that's what mentally breaks um, us guys down. Almost like ants, you know, you see one ant go that way, and we kind of all follow each other. I kind of feel like a dog in a kennel because there's all kind of gates up, but, you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get through it. For some, 
Training camp is the doorway to the NFL. But for the unlucky, the door to their NFL dream is slowly closing. Rookie Todd Lober is still just trying to get his foot in the door. The former basketball player is a protege of Jim Garrett. But Lober's transition to football hasn't been easy. Oh. What was that, Ty? So why are you lining up so tight? If he called Lucky, what are you doing lining up here? I lined up on the, on the edge of the box. What? On the end of the box, right? Get out. I don't know why people turn their back on this magnificent athlete. Sure he's going to make mistakes. I mean, the, the, the guy has never played the game. It's a gritty life of underdog, you know? We're all underdogs, huh? Yeah. Some more than others. In my 42 years, I never saw an athlete like this. If you cannot teach this athlete to play football, then something's wrong. They're going to go with the guys that they don't have to worry about. Is it fair? You know, who's to say? You know, survival of the fittest. It's hard, man. You just got to keep going, you know, keep your confidence high because it can, you know, depress you. I said, hey, don't give me that stuff. You go out there and you show them athleticism. I don't care whether you look like the worst football player that ever lived. I don't care whether you run rotten roots. Just show them the kind of athlete you are. I'm hoping the coaches to put me in the game. I'm praying, you know, hopefully. This is a guy that's got to get in the race. Let him experience success. Oh, yeah. If you lined him up right now and said to the corner, we're going to run a go going to go right by him for touchdown. All I need is, you know, one play, one opportunity to make a statement. That's all I'm asking. Good shot. Can you imagine getting up every morning and just running into somebody? After a while, it takes its toll. You get a little edgy. You know, guys are getting chippy. It's hot. Guys are tired. And it's close contact. You know, the smell of their breath. They're right in there. Hey, put your helmet back on. Put, put your, your helmet, helmet on. on. Please put your helmet on. Oh me. <laughs> you can tell. You know, when, when you start fighting each other a lot, it's, it's time to hit somebody else. San Diego, get ready. The most important thing about the trip is we're going to play a ball game. Let's get this thing going. Let's get this, let's get this train rolling. All right? Huh? And then once it gets rolling, nobody's going to stop it. Man, they, they got me right next to the one. Can't nobody sneak in but Wonder Woman. Green light means I'm good. All right, guys. <laughs> Hey man, come up my room. Who is it? You got all the private royal. Private royal be slipping in behind people all the time. Is it royal? That's who it is, ain't it? Hey, Ron, come on up out of my room, man. I knew it was something. I had the cameras from it. <laughs> I knew it was you. I knew it was you. <laughs> hey, man, I know that. Lining up the right way, getting on the line of scrimmage. Just go out and have fun playing football. Play one play at a time and execute your assignment. Let's have 
have some fun. Great opportunity to go play some football, all right? Let's go. Let's go. We work too hard at camp not to go out here and show them what's happening. Let's go. Hey, let's go, little buddy. Let's go. Now, listen up. Listen up. Hey, the mistakes are mine. Especially young guys. Don't worry about mistakes. Now, the effort is yours. The effort part has got to be yours. Don't worry about mistakes. Go out there and let's let the Cowboys ride. Uh, let's go. All right, here we go. They have 13 Pro Bowlers on this roster. Everybody else wants to talk about them representing the NFC in the Super Bowl, but they won't do it. They want to let the way they play football force everybody else to start talking about them. And I think that that's a huge plus, and I really like the direction that Wade Phillips has his team moving. That's what I was thinking. I said, we need no with you the first game. Hopefully you see the last game. Hey, let's let's <laughs> make a deal on that Thanks, you too. These people are here because they love my job. And boy, I love it too. I love it too. This is fun right here. Yeah. Let's go out here, have fun. Let's play how the Cowboys play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Cowboys go, 03. One, two, three. Cowboys. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Here we go. Dot left, quick jet left stop on one. Ready? Come on. Tony Romo and the Cowboys on offense. What a season he had in his first full year as a starter in the National Football League. Jason Witt. The first team offense looks good. Even without all their shoes, they walk Here all go. over the Chargers. Shoot. You're all right, you're all right. Shoot. 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 Gotta do it himself. It's okay, it's okay. Chip strike fly. Chip strike fly. 32 punch on one. Ready? Bo, just don't tie it. Just don't tie it. Let's go, let's go. Get up. 180. 180. Creighton in the slot to the right side. And over the middle, a wide open. Patrick Creighton inside the five. You're on the two. Left hash. First and goal. Two and a half. Two and a half. Java, left F jerk. Java, right. Java, right. F jerk. Let's go, let's go. Give that fullback and Deion Anderson finds the end zone. Yes! Touchdown. Cowboys lead the Chargers after an impressive opening drive. 7-0. How'd you feel? Huh? How'd you feel? Good. Oh, in practice. <laughs> Play this coverage right here. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. Tony yeah. Romo's night is finished after just one series. Good game, Dorn. You ever see Major League? Two, I think. He's like, Dorn, I need you to get up there and take one for the team. I need you to get on base. He's like, you want me to get hit with the ball? So he leans into the pitch and he's like, oh. And he gets over, he's walking by. Good game, Dorn. That's what I feel like right now. Good game, Dorn. All right, Dave, come on, babies. The Cowboys' first string defense looks just as sharp as the Dallas offense. You know, one of the new faces for the Cowboys on defense is Zach Thomas, number 55. You know, a lot of people are excited to see Zach Thomas in a Cowboy uniform. And Sproles, no place to go. It's Zach Thomas in that backfield. Not set, buddy, not set. 13th year in the league, multiple Pro Bowls, and he comes here trying to find his spot, make his contribution. JD, I like our defense this year. So I like our defense. Long set for you. To throw under pressure, and down he goes at the 17 yard line. Take Johnson, hello, take. Back to the my belt, man. <laughs> Before the game, Jerry Jones, the first name out of his mouth when asked who he's looking for tonight, it was Tank Johnson, and it did not take long for Tank to deliver. I got some practice under my belt. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of a start. Hell of a start, Kevin. That's it, baby. That's it. Good start. Way to start. Good start. Good start. All the starters uh, are out of the lineup right now. This is a great area to evaluate. You see these young players. You get to see who your players are. Danny Amendola, back receiver for the Cowboys. Hi, and wow.
double-A fair catch called for by... We waved everybody out, wasn't a fair catch. And then he fumbled the ball, you can't do that. Amendola fumbled the football, and the Chargers have recovered. And that is something a rookie free agent cannot do. I was going down, and on the way down, to hit it out. I guess it came out. Okay, but that's why you want to put two hands over, yes, right? Sir. All right. No wide receivers. I formation. Hester again up the middle. Touchdown, San Diego. A fumbled punt return. You cannot allow the other guy easy scores. Cornerback Adam Jones is playing in his first NFL game in more than 18 months. Jones up real fast, kind of loses his leverage on Jacob Hester, allows him to get back inside. While one Jones struggled, another starred. Let's see Felix Jones. Here comes Felix Jones. <laughs> Let's check out this speed. Talking about 19 yards on his first carry in an NFL preseason game. Keeping up with that Jones won't be easy. Keeping Martellus Bennett's confidence level high might get harder as well. Ready to Deep middle, Bennett. Drop the ball. Martellus Bennett has got to learn that in the NFL they're going to hit you that hard. Third down, Johnson in the shotgun. Pressure. This was the outside linebacker, Sean Phillips. It was Bennett trying to block him, so that's two bad plays back-to-back -back by Martellus Bennett. Number 80-80, Martellus Bennett. Hello? Where did we say he was going to play? What gap? Inside, out. Inside, yeah. Okay, you're split too wide, okay? And he beats you right across your face. Okay. Tight split, like we talked about. Lock him inside out. He's inside footwork. All right. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Get it right. Let's go. All right. While some failed to make the most of their opportunity, others never got an opportunity at all. Most of the Cowboys stars shown, but for the backups, careers are on the line. We got some work to do, right? We got some work to do. We got to learn from this ball game and then go from there. That's what these games are for. So everybody's got to stick together, and I know you will, and we got to get better in all phases, all phases. Training camp is the ultimate paradox. Sweat like the devil to become a cohesive unit, a family, but leave the weakest behind. Truth is, not everyone will call Dallas home. <laughs> 